guys, what is going on? And welcome back to a brand new video. And yes, I am back at, at home uh, in Belleville. I know I haven't uh, uh, really explained much of anything, but anyways, I'm back home. I know there hasn't been any live streams or anything like that. It's actually because the internet at my house here uh, isn't good enough for live streams. It's not actually fast enough, so I'm actually in the process of having that fixed. Um, I've already talked to my parents. We're definitely going to get that fast, so I will be able to do live streams again. Um, so yeah, that should be uh, hopefully soon. Um, but yeah, so as you can tell from the title of the video today, uh, I've got some information about BMX streets um, And I'll, I'll go a little bit further into that. I'm just gonna play the game. We're gonna talk about it a bit I'm actually for the most part gonna read uh, my conversation with the creator of the game um, So yeah, I'm just gonna open the game I'm gonna play it and I'm gonna read you guys basically what he told me uh, for the most part man Does it feel good to be back home? I can talk and, and, and yell as loud as I freaking want and uh, have as many voice cracks as I want uh, because uh, my parents are both at work during the day so I can sit down here and be as loud as I want um, well I mean until until I'm able to get a job <laughs> and uh, not have to worry about bugging anyone because that was the main issue at the other place um, is a lot of you guys said I was quiet I, I was never really quiet I just didn't really talk loudly you'd be like well why, why are you whispering bro I didn't I just be like talking like this and it's just like a normal uh, talking uh, level of volume um, but now I can kind of be like a little bit louder so you guys can hear me for sure um, so yeah BMX streets I've gotten questions about this game every single day since I've played it on the channel um, so we're gonna talk about it a little bit today uh, I, if you guys were in a, a live stream with me a while ago uh, I actually did this conversation with the creator of uh, Pump or not Pump BMX, uh, BMX Streets uh, on the live stream. Um, but obviously, not all of you guys are there for the live stream, and obviously, there's going to be a lot of new people that are seeing this video that are maybe interested about the game and uh, don't watch the live streams. Um, so yeah, basically, what I had asked him was, "Hey, what up, dude? Got a couple of questions about the game. Uh, I just said." Uh, I basically asked you guys in the live stream what you wanted me to ask him. Uh, so a couple of the things I asked him was obviously release date um, because I've had so many people tell me it was going to be done in the summer. So I'd always been telling people, you know, don't take my word for this, but a lot of people have been telling me summer. Uh, so don't get mad at me if it's not done in the summer. Um, so what he had said to that is it will not be released in the summer. However, the game should be done. Uh, by summertime or end of summer um, so the actual game will be done uh, but to publish it on the Xbox one and ps4 he said can take up to four months so hopefully by the end of the, of this year um, it's just it's not that he's he'll, he'll be like struggling with the game or anything it's just the publishing can actually take that long so hopefully he's done the game by end of summer and then once that's done he has to uh, publish it on Xbox one and PS4 now with that said um, the full game uh, is gonna be uh, as, as what he said is gonna be quite dry uh, so what that means is there's honestly not gonna be that that much to it he just wants to get a game out there and publish so people have something to play and then he can uh, work on adding stuff afterwards almost like DLC and stuff but it'll just be constant updates uh, and he said it would be free, so it's not stuff stuff you're gonna have to pay for. It'll be like free DLC sort of. Um, so hopefully that's out by the end of the year. When the game comes out, uh, it'll probably be pretty similar to this. It'll be like a it'll be like a big map. It'll just start like this, maybe with the instructions, uh, and then it'll just come like this. This is not what he told me. I'm just assuming because um, that seems that kind of. What came across when he said it, it was, it's going to be very basic, very dry, not a whole lot to it. He just wants to get something out for the uh, the uh, community or the, the, the players uh, so they can uh, get playing this uh, sooner rather than later. Uh, the second thing I asked about uh, was multiplayer because uh, a lot of people have been asking me, hey, is it going to do multiplayer? It'd be cool uh, for you to make videos or do live streams with, with your uh your viewers and uh, that was something I would have been stoked about too so multiplayer isn't really something he's thinking about um, if if the game does well um, and he can afford it uh, he, he does need sort of like a team because um, once you add multiplayer it, it basically always needs to be monitored uh, for the most part because uh, if issues go on uh, online if issues happen 
uh, servers go down and stuff like that. He needs someone to fix that uh, basically instantly. Uh, or else he's going to have a lot of annoying kids messaging him like, hey, what the heck, can't play with my friends. Um, so yeah, so multiplayer could be something uh, that could be coming to the game. However, uh, I wouldn't be expecting multiplayer. <clears throat> so the third thing I asked him about uh, was like a story. Um, so he said uh, that there probably won't be a story per se, um, which is what I figured. I don't know how you would incorporate a story into this, especially since it's an indie game. Like I could see if it was like a triple A big budget title. Okay, let me clarify what I just said. It's not that indie games can't have stories. Uh, and what I meant by a triple A uh, company doing a story is because like the skate games, they had all the skateboard companies where as this, there's not going to be any bike companies that I'm aware of. I mean, maybe there is. I'm almost positive there isn't uh, because there's been no advertisement uh, of any. Um, so what I was what I mean is it'd be hard to do a story where you couldn't have like sponsors and stuff like that um, and, unless he makes up brands and put sponsors in. Uh, but where I was saying it was like a triple A title is they would they would be like, hey, Fiend, want to be in our game? Of course you do because we're EA or something or Hey, cult, want to be in our game? Of course you do, because we're EA, and we're going to put your name everywhere, and people are going to want, want to buy your bikes. That's what I meant by this, so I know I didn't explain it very well, but yeah, that's what I meant. Um, but I mean, really, the only thing you could do, it'd, it'd be like sort of like a skate story, uh, where, or even like the Tony Hawk stories, where you're just some guy trying to make it into this the uh, a pro BMX rider, maybe, or something like that. But I don't think that would be... Uh, I don't know. I just I can't see it fitting, and I think for the majority, m most people don't care about a story. They just want to, they just want to ride a bike around in a in a city and ride some street, ride some ride some ramps, and I think that's basically all he's going for is uh, just an arcade style game where you're just on a bike, you got a city, and you can run around and do whatever you want, hit some rails. I don't think it's gonna be much of a story at all, um, but he did say uh, when you publish things on console. There has to be achievements, so he will have to do some sort of missions and achievements like that. But I don't know if he'll maybe do something like along the lines as like maybe pump BMX, um, or even he has a mobile game and he has like on certain things you got to do certain tricks. So maybe he'll just put like in certain parts of the map you've got to do a double bar ice 180 to half cab bar something like that. Um, which would be pretty cool. So, I mean, it's cool that they'll have those. Hopefully that will, like, maybe they'll do unlocks. I don't know. This is just my input now. Um, but, yeah, doing, like, unlocks and stuff like that would be cool. Um, and then I think the last question was, uh, will it come out for uh, PC? Um, now, he wants to put it on PC. However, obviously, the mass majority of uh, people that are going to be interested in this game or BMX riders probably don't have PCs power powerful enough to even play this game so he's mainly focused on uh, just consoles which which makes sense obviously I mean everyone that asked me I don't I never get asked hey is this out on Steam I mean maybe the odd time but I mean the majority is hey is this on Xbox is this on PlayStation um, so yeah so he's more or less focused on uh, PS4 and Xbox, which obviously makes sense, but yeah. So yeah, so you can expect the game, hopefully, like I said, don't take anything I say like too seriously, hopefully by the end of the year. Uh, it sounds like it should be done in um, the, by the end of summer, and then obviously publishing it is going to take a while. Once it's published, you can expect lots of updates, apparently, because um, uh, the game's going to be pretty dry at first, and then he'll be adding stuff. Uh, later on in the game, which would be pretty cool, because uh, I'd rather have a game like that, uh, so you kind of, like, are almost, like, wondering, like, ooh, what's next, what's next, and maybe, like, weekly or monthly updates or something like that would be pretty sick with new stuff in the game, uh, which I think is actually a good way to do it. Um, so, yeah, I hope that answers any questions um, that you guys might have had. The only thing that I didn't ask him about um, is whether or not there's going to be a park editor. Um, again, I think maybe that might be something he might add in the future because, again, it like he said, it's going to be pretty dry, so I don't think we should expect anything like that. Honestly, all I'm going to expect is you're going to be plopped down in the game. 
uh, you you probably be able to customize your character and your bike, and that's probably it. And then I think with future updates, he might add like uh, I don't know, different colors, different maybe bike parts, different clothes for the character. I mean, who really knows? If you guys have any questions for him, you can go on Facebook and you can go to the Facebook page he has. It's uh, just called BMX Streets. Pretty easy to find. Uh, if you if you have any questions, you can usually send him a message on there, and he'll he'll usually answer pretty quickly. Um, so you guys don't have to ask me uh, to ask him questions. You guys can actually <laughs> ask him himself. Uh, definitely make sure you follow him on Instagram. His Instagram is BMX Streets Official. Uh, he posts on there all the time whenever he's added stuff for the physics and stuff. Uh, for the most part, he said right now, um, he's really just working on uh, the map uh, and textures and stuff like that. Texturing does take a god-awful amount of time. Uh, so he's he's doing that right now. He is in school still. He's he's a, it's a one man team for the, those of you that don't know this. He's just a, a college student uh, that is trying to do this. So he said he's almost done school. Obviously, when he's done school, he'll be able to go into this a little bit uh, more full time. Uh, but for the time being, right now, he's just kind of focused on maps and uh, texturing. And now the other question I get asked a lot uh, is. Will there be any more demos? Now, I did ask him if there's going to be any more demos. And, of course, there's going to be more demos. Um, I mean, if you go on his website, he's got a page for demos. Uh, and it says, stay tuned for the next demo that's coming out. So he's doing more demos, which is uh, very exciting. Uh, so the you'll be able to play this game a couple more times, hopefully, before it's actually released to keep you guys interested. And, uh, yeah, he even said something about, I'm not going to give too many details away, but possibly uh, doing alpha builds uh, for consoles. So before the game's coming out, uh, maybe you would get a chance to play it uh, before anyone else. He said maybe maybe he would uh, think about doing that. But I mean, it's totally up to him. Um, and yeah, so make sure you support the creator. Definitely go follow him on Instagram. Just check out his mobile game, uh, BMX Streets uh, Mobile. It's actually pretty fun. I've played it a couple times. I've played it on the channel, actually. Um, and yeah, it's a, it's a pretty fun uh, phone game if you're into BMX. And yeah, I guess that's pretty much it for this video. I kind of found a, like a, a bit of another glitch um, in this game. I did like the the bump jump one, and I found that if you go off these ramps, and as as soon as your tire gets over uh, the the top of the bank, if you hop, then he kind of goes like way higher than usual. So like if you do this. I'll try it. Yeah, see, like, look at how high he goes, and he actually clears the gap, which is pretty sick. So if you guys are still playing the first demo, as soon as your front tire gets over that, uh, you can uh, do a hop there, and he usually hops twice as high. Like, I did a quad whip on it, I think, the other day. Uh, these are all things I usually find in the live stream, so when the live streams come back, definitely make sure you watch those. And uh, I usually stream some BMX games. I'll probably start streaming a bunch of other stuff. Now that i got my PS4 beside my computer, maybe I'll do some PS4 games. I, I recently got uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, which is an amazing game. So maybe I'll live stream that or something. I don't know. It's a pretty fun game. But anyways, thank you guys so much uh, for watching. Again, if you have any questions, definitely make sure. you. If you want, you can leave a comment, and I'll try to answer it. Um, but if it's specifically about the game, uh, probably uh, better off uh, sending the actual creator a message whether you want to do that on uh, Instagram or Facebook. I think he would probably prefer uh, Facebook, but yeah. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helped, and yeah, I hope you're having a great day. And yeah, peace out, guys.